Silent Sam is a Confederate statue on campus at UNC Chapel Hill. It became the center of controversy recently when protesters toppled it on August 20th, and now, 10 days later, protest and counter-protest are scheduled to occur tonight on Franklin Street. Two protests are set tonight. At 7.30, people opposed to the statue will meet for a Silent Sam dance party and speak out. At 8 o'clock, a conservative organization called Alamance County Taking Back Alamance County will congregate at the foot of the statue to honor the fallen soldier. Yesterday, an email was sent out to all the students saying, Dear Carolina community, we are writing to urge you to stay away from a Corco place tomorrow evening. There are several demonstrations being planned in close proximity in that area. We know from past experience that when groups with opposing views come together in a highly charged environment, there's a real possibility for demonstrations to escalate to violence. Your safety is always our highest priority. Pepper spray has such strong chemicals that even if you just breathe the air close to where it's been sprayed, your entire throat closes up and you feel like you can't breathe. I'm okay. <coughs> I was caught up on the wrong side. The <sighs> kid just got gas. I'm going back to where I got gas. I can breathe now. Shower, take hey, man. Shower. Hey. I love how they're trapping us in this can cloud I, of tear gas. Can I get a comment from you, please? This is a wild night. The police are currently barricading us in this square of tear gas. The fact that they're actually need until November 15th. <laughs> yeah, take your time, man. Sir, well, they're putting up Silent Sam again is a good idea. It's, it's atrocious. <laughs> and these are the people who are tasked with overseeing probably one of those most important schools in North Carolina, if not the country, if not the South. <laughs> I mean, this is ridiculous. You know, the police, they escorted the white supremacists into closer, nearer to the statue while they barricaded everyone else around. Once the protest was done, they escorted them out and uh, the dance protesters started following until one of the police officers sprayed pepper spray, I think, and uh, some people, some protesters actually got sprayed in the face, so they got they got the brunt of it. Come on, boy. Somebody want you. Go home. Yeah. You're not wanted here. Yeah, man. Go. Take that phone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you got... representing his confederate heritage apparently and he started saying some very mean and hurtful things to us and saying that this wasn't our home and saying that we weren't citizens i don't understand how we're not citizens when i was born in north carolina been raised here and just questioning everything about me and it. Uh, 
Oh, they're, they're trying to get a reaction. Preferably for them, a violent reaction. To me, that statue just kind of represented, like, that we're not welcome here. It was pretty much degrading people of color, telling them they were not welcome on this campus. And I put a lot of money to come to this campus and get a good education to kind of, like, excel up as a person of color. And just the statue is a reminder that I'm not accepted here. And I think it was good it was brought down. I mean, like, the, the ethics of how it came down is debatable, but it's good that's brought down. Just two questions, okay? Where is Panther Creek? Why did you feel like it was important to show up today? I, I think that uh, anytime there's big mobs of people doing violence. Don't interview this guy. Uh, He's a fascist. He's full of. Don't interview this guy. Do not interview. His name is Noel Fritz. He's full of crap. He's associated with Brett Bart, which we all know is worse than Fox News. Nothing but lies. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Why do you feel like it was important to show up today? Um, to combat the fascism that is plaguing our country right now and prevent them from getting a platform to preach their hate on. The statue represented to me institutionalized racism that has existed in this country since it was founded. It was built on institutionalized racism and it's something we have to root out one statue at a time. I came out here today because I believe as an American and as an African American that I have the power to make a change and I have the power and the platform um, to stand up against something that I feel is wrong and this statue is wrong. People that support this statue going back up are wrong. And what did this statue represent to you? White supremacy, racism, oppression. Why did you feel like it was important to come out today? I felt like it was important to come out today to show that there are more of us who support inclusion and support unity and support students of color um, than there are bigots. <laughs> what did the statue represent to you? I mean, I can tell you what it represented to me, but it's less important as a white person than it is what it represented to the black community, especially on campus. I know that for a lot of people, it represented a legacy of white supremacy in the United States and on our campus in particular. And it, it was sort of a, a tangible, um, very obvious representation of all of the oppression that has occurred over the years and, and that is continuing to occur.